Before setting an oxygen flow rate, review the healthcare provider's orders to confirm the prescribed oxygen delivery method, flow rate, and duration of therapy. After performing hand hygiene and ensuring privacy, introduce yourself to the patient. Then identify her using two identifiers. Today, may I check your ID band and would you tell me your first and last name and your birth date? Beverly Hampton and my birth date, uh, January 8, 1948. Okay. Assess the patient's respiratory system and obtain her oxygen saturation and pulse. If the ordered flow rate exceeds four liters per minute, attach the tubing to a humidified source of oxygen. Then attach the oxygen delivery device, such as a nasal cannula or mask. Turn the oxygen on and use the float ball on the regulator to adjust the flow to the prescribed rate. Stop when the ball is even with the number of liters per minute ordered. A patient with a nasal cannula will require a flow of one to six liters per minute. This rate delivers a fraction of inspired oxygen, or FiO2, of 24 to 44 percent. A patient with a reservoir nasal cannula, or oximizer, will require a flow of one to 15 liters per minute which supplies an FiO2 of 24 to 60 percent. For a Venturi mask, plan to set the ordered flow rate between 4 and 12 liters per minute. To deliver a preset FiO2 of 24 to 60 percent, either use the correct adapter or turn the barrel on the mask. Up for some more oxygen. The flow rate on a partial, non-rebreathing mask must be kept high enough to prevent the bag from collapsing. 10 to 12 liters per minute, for example, delivers an FiO2 of 80 to 90 percent. A non-rebreathing mask requires a flow rate of 15 liters per minute, supplying an FiO2 of 60 to 90 percent. If your patient has a face tent, set the flow rate at 8 to 12 liters per minute as prescribed. This rate delivers a highly variable FiO2, ranging from 28 to 100 percent. Check the cannula or mask every eight hours, and keep the humidification container filled at all times. As part of your follow-up care, monitor the patient's pulse oximetry and arterial blood gas levels if needed. If either is out of range, notify the healthcare provider a flow rate adjustment may be in order. When you're finished, perform hand hygiene.